Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to start working on that empty space behind me, which is part of the master bedroom in this house. This room is really long this way, not too wide that way, and we haven't been able to figure out what to do with that empty area there. Space could be used as a home office, movie room, playroom, home gym for example, but I think the best use for that area is to build a walk-in closet there. This master bedroom is quite small actually. It has two small closets on the other end of the room and there really isn't enough space for all the shoes and clothes and things like that. So adding a new, modern, bigger walk-in closet there would be a perfect addition to this house. And the first step to get started would be to take measurements of the floor and go online looking for right size cabinets. So let's get started. some online research I've decided to use IKEA Pax frames. Three reasons. One, they have many different interior components available. Drawers, uh, shelves, pull-out rails, uh, rails for the clothes and so on. They even have a dividers that go inside those drawers to keep a smaller stuff organized. Number two, the price. If you are buying something from IKEA, it's usually cheap, but they do have some really good products as well. I have used these uh, PAX frames in some of my earlier projects and the quality is fine. I don't know about those drawers yet, but we will see when the project goes on. Anyway, I would say the price is reasonable. And number three, I have IKEA nearby here in South Florida, so I can go there many times and get, for example, the frames first, see how they fit, and then I can build the interiors step by step. And one good thing about those back frames is that they are available in three sizes, uh, 19 inch, 29 and 39 inch. And that really helps me to make them fit into that room so that hopefully there won't be any gaps. So now I know the measurements of those cabinets, so let's start drawing the floor plan. So those IKEA packs cabinets come in two sizes, 79 inch and 93. None of them is perfect for this room. If we use the lower one, 79 inch, there will be big gap between the frame and the ceiling. Of course we could use that space, put some storage boxes there, but I think it will look better if the frames go all the way up to the ceiling. 
The idea is to make this look like the cabinets are built into wall. So I'm going to remove the ground molding and then install it to the front of the frames. So let's take down the ground moldings and then I'm heading to IKEA to grab some heavy boxes and bring the frames home. And the IKEA trip is done. Just took the first piece up here to see how it works with the ground molding and looks like I'm lucky. There are ready-made holes in this level which is exactly the lower part of the ground molding. So instead of using the, the top holes here I'm going to put the top horizontal frame to these, these holes and the end result should look good with the ground molding. So let's start building the frames. One modification I have to do is to cut this small lip out of the upper part of the frame. If I leave this lip here, then the back panel wouldn't sit flush and it wouldn't be smooth all the way up. Okay, another modification I have to do is to cut this side of the corner cabinet shorter and then attach the upper part with glue and make it with some specific longer screw.
this is a moment of truth here now. I hope I can fit two larger frames and one of the 19 inch to this side, but it's going to be really tight fit. So let's see how it goes. If they don't fit, I will have to cut out the drywall or do another modification again. And that's all for today's video. Please subscribe and like and I'll see you in part two.